Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I am currently working on a big journal here and, uh, well, I don't, I shouldn't say big, but like larger than the small ones that I've been working on recently. And I had a, an idea, um, and we're just going to see how it turns out. So after cutting down, um, some of file folder that I was using, I had this little piece left over and I thought I wanted to make like a little, um, notebooklet with it. So I did pick out some of the stuff because, you know, I do like to prep a little bit. Um, and then we're just going to kind of wing it together. So this is what my thought was. I want to use up the scraps because I don't want to put these scraps away. So I have these three scraps here. I also have this that I want to somehow uh, possibly incorporate on the cover. And then this is the paper that I'm going to use for the inside. So basically what it's going to be like, and I tried to plan it out a little to see if it would work. I'm going to use this scrap because it's pretty much almost perfect. I just got to cut off that end. Then I'll have um, some coffee dyed paper here. And then I was thinking because, well, this is where I was, I kind of stopped. So this is the booklet and see, there's a little bit of a, the cover this is a longer I was gonna cut it down but I thought this would be kind of cool if I left it so when we open it do we want the paper here or do we want the paper here um, actually I think I want the paper here okay never mind I've made up my mind already so first I think let's just cut this down first I think I'm going to ink it, but let me just see if I have to cut it down anymore. And it's not completely perfect, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Okay. So what I've been doing or trying to do recently with recent projects, any scraps that, you know, um, come about as I'm cutting, uh, you know, the bigger papers down or, um, other things down I'm trying to reuse them back in the journal whether it be to decorate or to make little booklets or ephemera or something like that that way at the end I'm not left with a whole pile of scraps that just go into my box so oh there's also this little flower here that might work too okay so that's a possibility all right so first I'm gonna put this here and I'm just going to use this And I think, I mean, the idea in my head, I can picture it. Um, so I'm hoping that it comes out kind of like what I am picturing. Um, even if it doesn't, I think that's okay too. It just, it'll be a fun little project to work on together. All right. So I want to just put the glue stick in the middle. Okay. That should be enough. Now, going to try and center it as best as I can, but like I said, it's not actually cut completely straight, but that is okay. Because it's not called a perfect journal, it's called a junk journal. All right, so that's there. So now I do actually want to add um, this paper here. And let's see, maybe, maybe about like that. I'm just gonna hand drip it. I've also been hand dripping a lot of paper recently. Um, and you know what? I can see that this actually is not straight. I'm just going to cut off this big piece there. Yeah, I've been ripping um, a lot of my paper by hand. I have no idea why, but um, hey, it works <laughs> sometimes. If you get a good crease, I feel like it, it rips well. Okay, so now of course what we're going to do is I actually like, I think I like this side better ink up the edges oh that's also to um, another thing that I noticed when you hand drip paper 
um, sometimes the ink takes better than when you cut it, like with a, um, like with your paper trimmer. I mean, the paper trimmer obviously is nice because it makes a nice clean line, but when you rip it, I don't know if you can see this, but I feel like the ink just takes really, takes different. Okay, I'm going to put the glue stick and then I'll do the, just the outside of the, And then we're just going to mush it down and I think I'll probably do the insert paper last let's just decorate the whole thing first all right so now I wanted to use this just like this so again you know what let me just put that over here for a second and yes I know this is really quite messy I've been working a lot but um, you know how sometimes you just get so deep into projects that your surroundings get messy and you just keep going. <laughs> okay, so I know that I wanted this here. And I know this is sideways, but I'm looking at the pattern, so that's okay. All right, so if that is like that then I'm just going to this has to come down a little bit well we'll find out if it's even or not Okay, of course, do a little inking. All right, so this, I'm just gonna line it up just to make sure it's all okay. Yep, all right, so again, glue. Glue stick in the middle, and then the tacky glue on the outside. Okay. All right, and let's carefully line it up. Oops, I think that's, there we go. Okay, so now I did see this. Let's just look, because I do like the way that looks, but I also, like I said, I want to include this. Um, and this paper is so fragile, you can just kind of bend it and it rips. Okay, let's just see. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I like, well, let's see what it looks like up here. Hold on. I'm just trying different, uh, different layouts okay hold on I have to look again this down here so it's either going to be on the bottom or on the top 
I, you know what? I think I like it on the bottom, just kind of randomly. And I really want to cut this a little closer, but I don't want to get the, get the words out. That's good. And I do want to maybe cut down the top just a tad. Okay, that was actually a really good rip. And guess what I'm doing? Yep. Sure. This one I have to be really careful with, though, because it's so delicate. I feel like any pressure that I put on it, it will rip. Um, and this actually is um, from a vintage music book that I have. And the music book is actually, it's a book. It's thick. I mean, like a hundred and some pages, probably. But it's so delicate. Like, I can't use the pages in... Um, a journal because they would actually break um, but it's such a shame because let me just show you real quick and I'm sure I've showed this before oh it's 114 songs but see and they're all so like fragile and delicate it's just like oh man wish it wasn't but it is so because at the time I actually I um I think I might have gone at the library for like 50 cents or a dollar because sometimes when my sister goes to the library on Saturdays, I'll just, you know, go with her as she's returning her books. I'm looking at the books for sale. Um, and um, that's where I got it. So I'm thinking probably 50 cents or a dollar because I don't really sell them for very much at the, um, at the library. And I was so excited. And then when I took out the first one, it basically almost like disintegrated in my hand. I was like, oh, gosh. So all those sheets but really you can't do anything with them so that's those are the sheets that I usually use for like backgrounds and stuff because they're completely fine if you glue them down on a page or on a tag or something like that um, it's completely fine that way you just can't bend it because um, once you bend it then it just breaks okay so now the flower is all nice and grunged up. And let's get some glue on here. And I'm definitely going to probably spread it just because there's a lot of little places for the glue to go onto. And I just want to make sure every little part has, uh, has some glue so it can stick down. So I'm just going to go like this. Oops. And I'm going to turn this this way. Okay, so now for the placement, you know what? I'm just going to somewhat center it, but not really. Just put it on like that. Perfect. All right. So actually, so far, I really like the way it looks. So that's the front. And then when you open it, you're going to have some paper here. And there's this too. I don't know if this could somehow be incorporated on it. Like this. Oh, that's a possibility actually. Okay, hold on. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. So now I need to get the papers here, but I need a sort of, where's my ruler? See the size that I want them to be. So, um, this is three, so I want to do probably two and a half by two and a half by hmm, four and three quarters. Okay, so let me just take out like one, two, three. Let's take out three for now. So what did I say? Two and a half by four and three quarters. And I'm going to do it from the bottom. And I know this always cuts crooked, but that's all right. So four and three quarters is going to be like that. And did I say two and a half? I've been repeating it, but now, yeah, two and a half. Can't remember. All right, so two and a half. And I think, okay, good. And I can get another one here. All right, so let's see how many sheets this is. Um, well, there'd be six, right? Yeah, three, so six sheets. 
and oh no those are too small let me just you know what let's do I don't know how much this is oh is this oh, this is two sheets let's just do two more okay so what did I say four and three fourths by two and a half why does that look smaller what did I do that does look a lot smaller I must have done two and a quarter oh man okay <laughs> Oh boy. Well, we're going to use that in some other way because all the little cutoffs I like to use too. All right. So let me just see how thick this little packet is now. Okay. So this goes in here. I think that's good. I don't want it too bulky because um you know if you're tucking it into a pocket or something you don't want the bulk there okay so what i thought i would do is i'm actually just going to ink this top page just a little bit just to you know so it's not so um not so bright it's very bright and it's funny because in person it's actually kind of yellowed but compared to everything else it just looks a lot brighter to me all right and I think I actually want to staple it to have that little sort of industrial look so if I have it there okay now if I hold it where's my stapler oh oh gosh oh nothing falls please don't fall okay and I'm going to do two staples I'm going to do one And I'm going to do two, and I don't know what kind of angle I'm at right now, so I do apologize. All right, so then you have like a little notepad with all these pages. You can also write here, and I mean, technically, if you want, you could put a picture here, or you could even write there too. So I love it. Now, let me just see where I am for time. Oh, okay, I still have a few minutes. Do you think we should put this here? Or should I save it for another project? Um, I like it, but I don't. I think I just want to keep it simple. Yeah. And maybe even just put like a little something or other. Hold on, I have my little Tim Holtz box. Um, something thin possibly. Or like, nope. Oh, actually, I like that. That matches the color, sort of. But it's like the perfect length. Yep, okay. Well, there we go. That was an easy. Because it needed something, but I didn't want the big fluff from the ribbon. I did like it at first when I first laid it down earlier, but just now I just thought, mm, there was just something, I don't know if it was too fluffy or what it was, but... No, we don't need that. Okay. So if it's this way, does it go this way or does it go this way? I think I like it this way. Or does it? Huh. And I don't know if there's rules which way you put it. Let me put it this way. Hmm. Oh, goodness. No, maybe like that. I'm going to just do it that way. If it's wrong... It's wrong. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so I'm just gonna put glue. And which way did I say? Oh, this way. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. It wouldn't be this way because if you had like a file, it would be like this. So that way it would, when it's sticking out, it would, um, be that way. I mean, I'm pretty sure. If 
If I'm wrong, that's okay too. Okay, let me just give it a little roll. All right, so what do you guys think? Let me just stand up so I can make sure that I'm seeing it. So I really like the way that came out and I like the fact that I'm using up the scraps that are still on my desk. So I may be back with another project, um, but I hope you like this little craft with me. Just a great way to use your scraps and a great way to add some extra journaling to a journal. So that's it for this video. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.